Good morning, fire signs. I'm here um, for the no contact. This is uh, for Sagittarius, um, Leo, and Aries. Um, I'll be reading about your person. Um, so the middle part would be the obstacles um, and the overall spread. This would be like the main thing right in the middle, like what's really stopping or what was stopping it to move forward. And then I have messages from them and then tarot cards to see where their um, mind's at and if they're going to take any actions. And then guidance from the universe and guidance from your angels. All right, so let's start. Okay, this person is a very uh, suave uh, Don Juan, like a Casanova person. But at the same time, there's two sides of him. Another one that has a very active mind. Um, this person has a vision uh, full of creative ideas. So I don't know if he's into a lot of like, um, like ideas that make a lot of money fast. Because this person's full of ideas. That's like the heart of him in a sense. Um, when you met this person, it looks like uh, he was fresh out of a relationship. Um, this was a very sweet, um, tender person when you met this person. It felt like coming home in a sense. Um, he saw you as a pink diamond, which is very rare. So, and he wanted to keep you that way, like preserved, um, away from his inner troubles and the life that he has outside of you. It looks like this person, um, wanted to make money a certain time so that you don't see like this person was struggling with um, income and uh, like the more time that passed like the pressure uh, got really serious for him because it could the relationship could not move forward if you were a successful person this person had the need to kind of step up the plate so to speak this person is not the usual person that you go for he's basically the opposite he or she um, it's the opposite of what you usually go for and you notice this person has a lot of people around them all the time be it um, exes coming out of the woodwork or friends that this person always hangs around with so what happened here was being money driven this person was this person uh, would have no objections mixing business with pleasure, in a sense, um, like favors. I don't know if you found out something or there was an inkling, there was a, like, there was a bothering you like it's an intuition that something was happening behind the scenes but this person would always like stave it off and say oh everything's fine until it wasn't and it looks like this person gambled way above their means and instead of needing to explain what happened this person decided to ghost you instead. So, I feel like you are stuck with a lot of questions, um, confusion, uh, what happened here. But this was um, a very passionate, and it looks like this person could have been a decent life partner for you. Um, you had that feeling of nostalgia if you're one of uh, the people that 
usually like to screen people they date this person basically um, bypassed all of that with you this person was different from the other ones that you've dated so whatever barriers you had whatever um, checklist you had this person did not have to go through that rigorous um, checks uh, overall he he or she saw you as a rare um, and this person tried to hold you down in a sense of uh, keeping you in the light and not where the real life is going um, with salt or sugar here it was messing up with your intuition because you know you're not feeling like everything is okay there's something there but you don't know what it is and if you've gone through this with someone in the past if you had a deceitful person that you've dated you know the red flags and signs when someone's keeping a secret from you you know that the, the bells would just be ringing like in your head so um So this was uh, with Justice 11. So I see this as Justice and number 13 is Death and Ghosting. So this relationship really hit a massive roadblock. It's at a standstill, standstill right now. Um, one of the main obstacles here is the delays and money that this person could not generate. Um, I don't know how long you've waited for this person to come around um, I could see King of Wands energy here um, maybe even Emperor in verse or Knight of Wands even because he's not or she's not fully stable I'm not sure if there was cheating here but with money hungry and with a bunch of people um, clarifying that um, and with Don Juan maybe this person did not cross the line so to speak physically but there's innuendos flirtation maybe that would be in the lines of hovering in the cheating department but if they did cross the line um, this person would try their darnest to hide it um, and the only way they hide this is keeping you at bay which is ghosting you so if this person ghosts for a week or two um, before approaching you again it's they're doing that hoping that you've forgotten in a way it's sort of like a punishment and brushing things under the rug that's basically this person telling you without saying it out loud that you have to keep yourself in check and not question them because the ghosting will keep happening so that's training you in a sense to be like um docile and um be the person that um that could overlook their um quandary and whatever obstacles they have in that which is money it looks like this person needs um i could feel like this person funnels in a way um invest in one business and then if that business needs to keep afloat they would have another idea to open another business and that business would the money flowing in from that new business idea would be going to the old business so it's sort of like trying to like basically uh, running on just a fast lane so yeah um, so let's look at 
messages from them. Uh, let me clean this up. yourself first I think about you all the time you are enough broken promises obsession spiritual lesson I want you so badly I can be myself with you and this is from their soul, from the heart, fulfillment, apology, self-love, creation and intention, action, distance, and I don't know if that fits, I'll just put this right in the middle. Okay, so this person is really ridden with guilt seeing that you were everything that they've ever wished for it just so happened that you came along in this person's life when they weren't stable and ready to fully commit and the partnership that you want from this person um, there's a lot of in and out energy it would begin and then it would retreat again. Um, this person knows they owe you an apology, but it seems that's just an intention. Um, the action right there with the distance, it looks like this is a distant thought, but it has not um, come to reality in, in a sense. Uh, it looks like this person's gaining strength to come forward. But with obsession and spiritual lesson, through obsessive thoughts, I'm not sure if this person really learned their lesson. Um, unless they've fully, uh, like you've blocked access in all ways, like especially with energy. Um, so this is what's in their heart, but putting that, taking action is still a back and forth thing with this person. This person is still crazy about you. And I think of all the people that they've dealt with, you're the only one that they can see themselves with. Um, in a sense, they could be with anyone, but with you, you're the only one that could really um, make them feel peaceful. Um, if this person had a troubled childhood, all the demons that they have, you quiet all of those thoughts um, it looks like this person actually sleep, sleeps soundly when you sleep next to them um, what else so let's see um, what their actions will be um, this is their current energy and you know with energy things shift from depending on like their mood or if opportunity within their circle, within their environment changes or it doesn't change. But currently this is where they're on. Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords. The Empress. Six of Cups star okay 
this person sees you as the empress, future mother of their children. Or if you're a male, they see you um, very abundant that would really uh, care for them. This is a very caring energy. And with the Six of Cups in past life, I don't know if you've known this person during childhood, but it looks like it's a past life relationship. That's why you guys are so drawn to each other. It's like magnets. This person wishes healing, but it, that would need commitment. And King of Coins is a committed partner, a very hardworking partner, but a partner that brings in the bacon so if they don't see themselves stable and able to bring in the cash to support you this person will not move and with a turtle here and you could see the trees are like growing on its back and it has taken roots um, it might take a while for this person to come through but um, these are their intentions the breakup, this consisted, looks like it's a culmination um, of the business dealings or whatever dealings they had on the side. There were a lot of people probably backstabbed them, like betrayals. Um, you were basically at the icing on the cake. Eight of Swords. Um, I don't know if this is past or current energy. Um, this is eight of sources being stuck in their head uh, this is um, I'm not seeing it as uh, it looks like this person to get over the hurt they like to um, recall events in their life that would s pacify what happened here so there's still a lot of healing done like this person still needs to heal there's uh, little pockets of memories this person has that um, I don't know if it's childhood memories but they're memories that make them feel safe and less scared This person has an arsenal of memory soothers, so to speak, that they um, maybe from a person that cared for them, be it a mom or a guardian, just a mother figure, or this could be you that whenever they were sorry, whenever they're stuck in something, hurt or stuck in a rut, like someone will always come through to make them feel okay and they always go back to the past to sort of heal and then before going back out there but it looks like this person is wishing upon a star in a sense um, praying For peace of mind um, this person's going through a lot of uh, questions as well why their paths just been so chaotic ten of swords is the kind of betrayal that you it changes you it sort of um, alters your your brain chemicals you're not the same once you get out of ten of swords it's like if there's a personality that so you're used to um, let's say if you're talkative very outgoing once you go through the ten of swords you're a changed person after that you're not the old you this is basically going through death and rebirth like the whole shebang so this is where um, current 
uh, this is where their mind's at in a sense um, there's a lot of healing I think they're looking back at their investments financially as well um, where it, it went awry this is how they want to be seen as a king of coins stable reliable in charge and loyal so this is where they're at okay so let's look at um, what the future will bring so to speak um, with this person okay heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost so in their grieving face okay dating meeting someone new got back out there okay have faith love is coming healing from a heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction so if this person has an addiction of the highs and lows um because people can get addicted to um the winning and losing it's like the chemicals that the brain produces they get really addicted to that um if this person is it the kind that would go out um, dating other people while unhealed, that's not going to go anywhere. Because um, their mind is with the Empress and the Star. That's you are the wish fulfillment, the pink diamond. Um, and they would have no um, way of healing what's broken inside them unless they accept where their faith is heading um, their destiny and the only way to do that is to come back healed um, it looks like whatever happened it could have been a big revelation for you and the only way that you might probably speak to this person is if they're free from whatever was stopping them or if it was an addiction or um, third party energy this person has to erase all of that basically start from scratch okay so let's look at where um, what the universe wants to tell you number nine patience is required number 17 leading to marriage healing heart with a life partner there it looks like you guys really um looked at each other maybe you guys even spoke about it that um you guys could see each other married um with kids and the white picket fence kind of thing but if white picket fence is not your thing you guys um probably have a different um, view maybe you guys want to travel for a while but this was a you guys were thinking about commitment feelings are mutual number 16 and obstacles ahead okay so the universe wants to tell you that for this relationship to become whole again you guys have to be patient with each other and heal and even if you guys are healed you guys are gonna start communicating to each other this person will reach out um, would make amends you have to understand um, this there's always going to be a struggle when it comes to finances um, or struggle with maybe fighting off addiction and keeping um, sober um, 
five is a number of change. So there's always going to be a shifting in that maybe hovering in the sense to jumping back to the bandwagon but you know like when addicts um always when they have that i don't know like that fiending sense where they just really crave it just to get a hit of something be it uh gambling or alcohol or sex addiction um they would have those phases i don't know if it's related to uh, moon cycles even but um just watch out for that and if you're the type of person that's very patient and is willing to take on and tackle um like the demons that this person is fighting with not tackle it with him just but just be there for this person i mean not him but him and her um so um it's up to you but you know um it really is like where your limits lie if if you really love this person and it's come hell or high water then go ahead like i'm not gonna say what you need to do i'm just saying that um it's gonna be a tough road ahead but you know love conquers all i guess um just know where your limits and set firm boundaries uh always speak your mind um and if this person um, violates those boundaries, be quick to um, inform that person. Because if not, this person would keep testing where your boundaries, the, the limits. So that's the only way to keep everything in check. It's going to be a long process, but you know, um, if you believe this relationship can go to distance, then um, who am I to tell you um, what to do, right? So, this is what your angels has to say. No need to worry. If you believe, again, that's what you're capable of um, enduring and then um, it's up to you, truly and the wind can knock me down but it can also lift me up so always look at the brighter picture i won't listen to my thoughts and feelings when i'm stressed i will reflect on my experiences with gentle compassion um it looks like if the focus is solely on this person's journey um their struggles and obstacles don't forget yourself um always take care of yourself be gentle don't talk to yourself your thoughts watch out for them um you're a fighter if you want to tackle this on you're a very brave person but just um always reflect and what you've learned from this experience and if you want to let all this go um because it's been a while and since this person you've heard from this person um it looks like this person's still in the process of healing and always you could see like you could feel their energy energy hovering around but it looks like it's still an intention um you're basically free to uh, move on and live your life you don't have to wait for this person and um spirit saying that you're gonna have another relationship once your heart is healed when you once you fully let go of this and really learned um what the lesson was uh if you've shown growth from this um they might test you i mean the universe if not with this person trying to text you or trying to um, come back before they're healed or they're gonna bring another person a different person but carrying the same energy as this past person just to just to test you 
um, if you fully realized your um, lesson um, the universe has a way of basically it's more Saturnian energy um, so it, I look at it as a game of like Super Mario or something um, once you pass like fighting Bowser then you go to the next level um, then it's a like new things in that level right you get like new powers and so this is where you're at right now um, so uh, it's up to you what you want to decide on so um, good luck fire signs um, have a good day